A very good afternoon. My name is Alok Srivastava and I welcome you once again to Network Nuts YouTube channel. In this video, you might experience a, a certain level of echo in my voice as I am using the built-in mic in my laptop. I am not using uh, the, you can say, the headphone mic. So you have to bear with me and do give me the feedback that if this voice is audible and is perfect or not. So, what's in this video? I'm meeting you after after three weeks. So, in this video, apart from this beautiful background and the beach and the babe and uh, Linux icon here, that is beautiful. What I'm going to show you, I'm going to show you how to assign Samba permissions, Samba permissions and ownership issues, ownership issues i hope everybody is comfortable with the samba and the basic samba configuration that is the prerequisite for this video so what i have with me is that i have my uh, virtual machine here here it, it is it's a virtual machine what i'm going to do i'm going to create a folder and then we'll gradually proceed with a topic that i intend to share with you so i'm I have a basic Samba configuration here. I had already installed the Samba by using the yum install Samba command. So the Samba is already installed, working. And I hope you all know that the uh, main configuration file is under rel6. Okay, one more thing. I am using rel6 now. No more rel5. So in the main configuration file under etc samba smb.conf you need to just share the folder that you intend to share with the Windows clients. That's great. So what I do here, I create a folder here, say hyphen hyphen mode is equal to 777 and the folder name is win data. So what will happen, it will automatically create a folder named win data and the permissions will be set to 777. Wow, that is good. So I want this folder win data to be accessed over the LAN by the Windows clients or anybody else who wish to use my Samba service. So what I need to do and I, I have a couple of users account already created in my case the you must be familiar with these names Alok and RN these are the two users already created on my machine that will be used for the Samba lab. So what I do here I just go to etc samba smb.com file obviously go to the bottom uh, write the share names say I am uh, writing the share name as for win I just do a space here for you comment can be anything say for windows clients path path should be the exact folder name win data public no i says no writable yes so means they, they should be able to write on this folder browsable make it yes so that the folder should appear in the network neighborhood it is what we normally do here so if i just share the folder okay and one more thing valid users so i give alok and rn so means these two guys are allowed to access this particular folder i just save and come out okay because the sc linux is on so i need to change the context of my folder to samba underscore share underscore t win data that this command will change the context of my win data folder recursively that makes sense now i can do a test farm to check my configurations here it's coming me the loaded file service is okay so i'm, I'm happy with that that is good now i add the user accounts in the samba allo i'm giving the password here in the same manner I can add another guy the password for this guy that's great and I can just start the service and please never forget to put the service under the check config that makes sense it's successfully started I can cross check it by the SMB client command my IP is 192.168.0.4 at the root password press enter you should see a dump of your configurations like for win folder you are sharing and a brief description that is fine so my samba is running and kicking and live so i'm going to use my uh, base
this Ubuntu machine to access it. I here I am on my Ubuntu ma uh, machine. It's a different machine. I will connect to server. I am intentionally using the GUI mode to explain you the things. I go here. I can connect to this. I think I had already connected to this. Fine. I'll do one thing. I think it's already been connected here. So I just do a unmount here. That is good. I click on again here. Go to file. Connect to the server. Use Windows Share. IP address of your Samba machine. In my case, this is for the share name is for win. If you remember, the username is Alok, and I am assigning or giving the required password for the Alok specific password. I click on connect. Okay, let me try it again. Red hat is the password here. That's great. So I'm connected to the for win here. If you see here, I create a file here and I change the name to make uh, your understanding easier to alloc file as it is being created by alloc that makes sense i just minimize this if i go here now i am on my main server the file is being created and see the focus here should be the ownership the file is owned by alloc and the focus here should also be on the permissions it is 744 fine i have no issues it is what the default configuration or the default settings are i go back again i unmount it now i will connect it with rn name file connect to server window share 192.168.0.4 share name is for win now here i am using a different name a different guy rn he's trying to connect it i got a habit of giving the wrong passwords ha <laughs> ha ha now he's again creating a document change the name to rn file makes sense so means alok is also able to create the the files in this folder and rn is also allowed to to create it fine just minimize this and go here check it out again the file is being coming up on my samba server which is a rel6 machine and obviously the username here is rn and the required permissions now here is the catch i don't want this i want that whatever files or folders created in my win data folder should be owned by a particular user something like a sgrd kind of stuff at a local file system and i should be defining the permissions also means what permissions should be automatically be assigned to the files and folders when the files and folders are created under my win data did you get the idea i just want to control the ownership issues i just want to control the group issues and i want to control the permissions when the file when the folder is being accessed over the wire so that is the main point so i go back to my samba configuration file smb.conf just here anywhere else anywhere in this block you can write i write here just write here create mask create mask will control the permissions say i give here 744 remember it is just reverse of the u mask if you remember the u mask u mask permissions are subtracted from the default permissions here it is the actual permission that will be assigned they will not be subtracted and i do a directory mask also if you wish to control the directories just a moment please directory mask say here i give uh, say 755 and i am also forcing a user account say force user say alloc means any file or folder created in this win data folder should be owned by the guy alloc and if you have got a group also you can also have force group so sales whatever but i am not using this because i don't have a group right now so i'm just commenting it but this can be used so what i i, I done i defined the create mask 744 means any file created in this folder will have the permission of 744 and any uh, directory created in this folder will be having the the rights of 
and the ownership will automatically be given to Alok. Let me check it out. 744. Right now it is 744. So I will just change it because that will not clear the point here. I make it 766. Let's make it 766. That is fine. Save and come out and do a service restart. That makes sense. Now, if I, if somebody, if, if the clients are accessing the folder now, I just do a unmount here and I try to connect it again from my base Ubuntu machine. I go to WinShare. I write 192.168.0.4 and rest of the information is same for win is my share name uh, logon name is I, I, I'll give RN required password sorry yeah hope this will work yeah now RN I'm logged in as RN and I'm now trying to create a file say RN file 2 so one now the RN has created a file now go back to the base, your main server, check it out. Whoa, look, this thing is working. The RN2 file is being created by RN, but the ownership is automatically being given to or assigned to Alok and the permissions are giving are coming as 766. Check the other things, check the older versions. So that really makes your permissions issues over the Samba very crystal clear and you can control the ownership rights the group rights and the file creation permissions okay let me create a folder also if i'll just go back again i'll go back again here i'll click on my this now it's a folder is being created by rn rn doc anything now i'm logged in as rn and rn is creating the folder but let's see the permissions look the though it is being created by alok but the ownership is automatically being given to oh sorry it's been created by rn but the ownership is given to alok and the permissions are what i had done 755 let me check etc samba smb.conf this is 755 and 766 so that was the idea behind the video i hope uh, you got the point that how to control the permissions and the ownership issues within the samba infrastructure so that you can have uh, uh, means uh, kind of uh, security issues or if you want to assign SGID bit kind of thing over the Samba that can be done. So I hope you like the video. Thank you very much. God bless. See you again soon.